welcome to One Word at a Time, the show where we take a close look at the curious words we use every day. Today's episode is about the word peace. How is it spelled? It's spelled P-E-A-C-E. Why do we choose the word peace? We chose peace because we've been learning about Martin Luther King Jr. in reading class and how he fought for peace. During the Civil Rights Movement, Martin Luther King Jr. was trying to get equal treatment or no segregation by leading peaceful marches. He started marching because he thought it was unfair how the black people were being treated. Did you know that Martin Luther King Jr. won a Nobel Peace Prize? Yes, he won at age 35, and it was for helping to make peace. It was called the Nobel Peace Prize. There has been a couple of presidents that have won it. They are Barack Obama, Jimmy Carter, Theodore Roosevelt, and Woodrow Wilson. And there is a teenager who was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Her name is Greta Thunberg, who was nominated for making a worldwide protest to lower the admissions that are causing global warming. What do you think of when you think of peace? I think of it as a quiet afternoon playing with a relative or a friend, playing something we think is fun, like a sport. I think that is very peaceful. I agree about playing with friends. I think it is peaceful too. But when I think of peace, I think of people having fun and not getting mad at each other for for scoring in a sport or a game. What does peace mean and where does it come from? It means freedom from civil disorder and it comes from Anglo-French. It was spelled P-E-S. It also comes from Old French and was spelled P-A-I-S. Before that, it came from Latin and was spelled P-A-C-E-M. In Latin, it meant compact, agreement, treaty of peace, tranquility, and absence of war. I didn't think there would be that much information. There's way more than I expected. I totally agree to this. It makes a lot of sense, and I I specifically like the parts about where peace came from. What part of speech is it, and what is an example of what it's used for? It can be a noun, interjection, or verb. It is used as a peace offering. A peace offering is when you give. What are some examples of people making peace in the world? China and South Korea have vowed to work together to work for peace. Another example is China and the U.S. They were destined for peace, not war. That was in a news article. Who are some people that fought for peace? Well, there is Jesus and, and Mahatma Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Harriet Tubman, and many more. All these people successful, successfully fought for peace. When was the phrase peace with honor first recorded? The phrase peace with honor was first recorded in 1607. The reason it was used for was U.S. President Richard M. Nixon used it to describe the Paris Peace Accord to end the Vietnam War. I didn't know that peace was first recorded in 1607. There's so much to learn. What is the Hebrew word for peace? The word is shalom and means complete and whole. Did kingdoms make shalom in the Bible? Yes. Can we find peace in other situations other than between countries? Not only is there peace between countries, but there's peace during Christmas time with your family and with friends. Do you know who Pope Francis is and do you know what he does? Yes, Pope Francis goes around the world making sure everyone has peace. Pope Francis lives in Rome. He was born on December 17, 1936. Today, Pope Francis is alive. His actual name is George Mario Bergoglio. He was the first pope from the Western Hemisphere, and he is currently 82 years old. When is the International Day of Peace celebrated? The International Day of Peace is celebrated on September 21st. What is the International Day of Peace? It is a day of ceasefire, personal or political. On the International Day of Peace, people celebrate in various activities, from from private gatherings to large audiences. What was the first known use of peace? It was used in the 14th century as a verb, and in the 12th century as a noun. Who is the Greek goddess for peace? The Greek goddess for peace is Irene. Are there any comforting peace quotes containing the word peace? Yes. One is, you'll never find peace of mind until you listen to your heart. Another is, do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. I agree with those quotes. They make a lot of sense to me. Why is peace important in our lives? Peace is important in our lives because it unlocks true happiness, and that can be achieved by being true to yourself. There are a lot of benefits to having peace in our lives. Did you know that there are some economic benefits of peace? Yes. Some benefits are about war and the damage and the cost from that damage. The aftermath of war is expensive. You can lose forests, 
cities, craters, bumps, and some cool landscapes because bombs can stuff can blow up the stuff or fires can start. What are some words that relate to peace? Some related words are peace, peaceful, peaceable, peace time, peacefully, peacemaker, peacekeeper, peacemakers, peacefulness, peacekeepers, and peacekeepings. Who is Greta Thunberg? Greta Thunberg is a 15 year old who really is trying to solve causes to climate change. She is trying to get headings around the world so we can get rid of climate change. She was also nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize, but she does not have it uh, because she is basically getting a better chance to get it. Wow, that's a lot of information. Yeah, I know, right? I didn't think about things like where it came from, comes from, or what it means until now. Thank you for joining us today. We here at Cambridge Elementary invite you to listen and to learn the fascinating abundance revealed with each and every word. One word at a time.